Over the past decade, as mass shootings have been on the rise, leading gun manufacturers have raked in more than $1 billion from the sale of AR-15 style rifles, according to a House Oversight Committee investigation out today. Gun manufacturers use dangerous marketing tactics to sell assault weapons to the public. Gun manufacturers are not only selling AR-15s to members of the public, but also to public schools. In North Carolina, that is. Welcome into TYT's Overruled. I'm your host, Adrian Lawrence. In response to the Uvalde school shooting that left 19 children dead, a school district in western North Carolina has announced that it is beefing up school security measures. The Madison County School District is adding AR-15 rifles to every school starting this fall. When speaking on the new measures, Madison County Sheriff Buddy Harwood, who is pictured here, said this. Those officers at Uvalde were in that building for so long, and that suspect was able to infiltrate that building and injure and kill so many kids. I just want to make sure my deputies are prepared in the event that happens. Sheriff Harwood thinks the best way to ensure his deputies aren't ill-prepared like the Uvalde officers are to provide AR-15s already in the schools. Then again, I think as I recall, the Uvalde officers were heavily armed. Still, Sheriff Harwood is convinced that it's a good idea to have AR-15s right there on site. He went on to proudly state, We were able to put an AR-15 rifle and safe in all of our schools in the county. We've also got breaching tools to go into those safes. We've got extra magazines with ammo in those safes. I'm wondering if the sheriff also has protocols in place for when a student gets access to those safe and the rifles, or when an officer accidentally shoots a student. What are the next steps then? I really don't think that he has the answer, but he seems to know that it'll be all safe and okay because he's a firearms instructor himself and he has the school resource officers receiving weapons training at a local community college. In fact, on August 17th, the six Madison County schools, that is three elementary schools, a middle school and two high schools, will participate in a live scenario to simulate what it would be like in a high stakes emergency situation. This scenario will incorporate all of our teachers just to prepare them for what to look for in the event we have to come into a school. We've got helicopters that will be there. It will be a live situation. This sounds like it's going to be chaos that school teachers did not sign up for, mind you. Seriously, what grade school teacher wants to simulate being shot at? Madison County pays the average teacher around $53,000 a year. That is not enough for me to want to play with some trigger-happy sheriff. It's absurd. When will our society realize that the answer is not more guns, but less of them? Nearly all of the officers at Uvalde Elementary were fully armed. They had every weapon, with the exception of courage. And giving law enforcement even more access to weaponry during a school shooting is not going to change the equation when these officers have no duty to actually protect and serve, and they face no consequences when they fail to act. What do you think it's going to take to get it through their thick gun-loving heads that guns are not the answer? You let me know in the comments below. Hit that like and follow button, and thanks for watching.